Okay, so today I did this scrunchy hair tutorial for you. So you're going to end up with something like this. I hope you guys like it, and I'm sorry that this is done in my MacBook because um, I didn't have good lighting to do it on my camera. So I was like, well, you might as well just do it on your MacBook if it's going to look crappy either way. So I hope you guys like it and you try it out. I just put my bangs back a little because they're kind of not fully grown out yet, but they're not bangs anymore. So the only thing I could do is put them back. So I hope you guys like it and you try it out and let me know how it works out for you. And I'll talk to you guys later. So um, here's the video. So I just got out of the shower and my hair was up in this towel for 5 minutes. And when you um, start drying your hair, start scrunching it. This is just going to help dry it a little more, but while you're drying it, it's going to give it some more texture. When you're done with that, you could take some leave-in conditioner, but if you don't have any, you can skip this step. And I'm going to start putting this into my hair in a scrunching motion as well. But make sure to apply it all over your hair. Now take any type of curling mousse you have. I'm using Bedhead Foxy Curls and apply some onto your hand about this much. Spread it evenly onto the other hand and start applying this onto your hair. You're going to put a little bit on the tips of your hair, a little bit in the middle and at the bottom. And then go ahead and start scrunching away for one minute. take a little bit just a little more mousse just about that much and up again start putting it to your tips to the middle of your hair and to the bottom and scrunch away for another minute now after a full minute pass by you can part your hair wherever you like for some reason with scrunched hair I prefer to part my hair on the side and then just scrunch it a little bit back if you want or just fix up some parts that didn't get that curl. And then we're going to split our hair in half and then into another half on each side. Now when you get that top half, you're going to pretend that you're scrunching it up and then you're going to grab a hair tie and you're going to rubber band it so it stays in place like that. Super cute, right? Now you're gonna do it to the bottom half. And rubber band it again. Now to the next half. I got a bobby pin since you saw how it fell and just fixed it up a little bit. This half is gonna be thicker because of the parted side. So you can go ahead and grab a bigger rubber band. Do you guys like how I use a blanket as a curtain? <laughs> okay, and then use the other bottom half. Scrunch it and put another rubber band. Oh, I love how that fell. There is the bobby pin again. Then you're going to grab some hairspray and you're going to spray your whole head. You can put as much as you like. I just put enough. I don't put too much. And then we're just going to come back and leave that in your hair. So my hair was up like that for 50 minutes, but you could put it for as long or as short as you want. Sometimes mine varies to 25, 30 minutes. Today it just happened to be 50. And when you're taking it down, you can go ahead and scrunch it just a little bit just to separate it so it's not all bundled up. Now take some hairspray and spray it so it all stays in place again. Now I'm going to take some volumizing um, mousse, this is by Herbal Essences, and I'm just going to put it to the roots of my hair. They really, really add volume, so if you don't have a lot of volume, I suggest this mousse. Everything I use will list down below. So I just put my bangs back because I didn't like the way they looked down, but that's it, and I hope you guys liked it, and let me know how it worked out for you.